So the while loop. So why do we need loops, right? What is a loop? So loop is essentially a construct in which instructions are repeated. So if you remember from our algorithms lecture back in chapter one, we were thinking about like, a, how do you compute compound interest, right? So they, in that there was an instruction that said repeat the following steps till the balance hits 20,000, right? So what are those steps, etc., etc. So we need to repeat these steps till some condition is satisfied. That condition is till the balance hits 20,000. So that repetition structure is a loop. Okay, so there are different types of loops. Here we are discussing the while loop. Then we will have the for loop and so on. So the while loop is a loop in that uses the keyword while. What it essentially means is something like this. So, uh, so this is like what we need to do in an application that you check the condition. If the condition is true, like do this, do this, and keep repeating these steps, right? And when that condition becomes false, you get out of that looping structure. So you keep repeating these steps, go back, keep repeating them, keep repeating them, check, repeat, check, check is false, get out. Don't repeat this, right? So that is what a while does. Syntax, how do you write while? Is this. So if you remember if condition, just the same way. Instead of if you have while, you test the condition. If condition is true, you come inside the while block. And again, you have to tab the statements. All the statements that you want to execute, you write them in a tabbed block for the while. Any statement that's not part of the while will be indented at this level right here. Not at a tab, but at a, this level that is not part of the while, okay? Then count control loops. So a loop that is controlled by a counter. What does that mean that you have a variable that is used as a count? So here you're saying that variable is one, then while that variable is less than or equal to some condition, that right? you give some condition. So here you're saying while that variable is less than or equal to 10, do what? Do all this, remember the tab? So do all this, all this is has only two statements, right? It has only two statements here because they're all tabbed and this is all part of the while block, okay? And then when this condition is satisfied, it will get out of this uh, while block, okay? So it will keep on doing these instructions. When count hits 10, it will come out. It will not go back, but the count, like the control will be down here, okay? Then condition control, so condition is the same thing. While some condition is true, keep on doing this thing, okay? In the previous one, you have a hard counter. The only difference is here you have a condition. Condition can be anything. Like, like while balance is less than target. This is also a type of counter, but counter is uh, like it goes uh, up by one or two or whatever your counter is. Here, you're just checking the condition. The condition can change these variables down inside the loop with whatever amount, okay? So execution of the loop, how it happens, uh, these slides basically show you. First, remember the balance was 10,000. Inside the loop, the year was zero. So when all these instructions execute, you are at this point. 
So balance is now 10,500. And year is one and interest was 500. When, they, when all these three lines execute, you are at this point. Uh, no. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, so at this point, you're checking whether the condition is still true. Yes, the condition is still true. So you execute these three instructions. That's all that's happening. And it keeps on doing it after 15 iterations, you are at this point. Now it checks the condition. Is balance still less than target? No. So it will not execute these three lines, but get out of the while loop, and which is this statement. That print year. The year was 15. So 15 should be printed on the screen. Okay. So there is this file. Uh, run it, and you should be able to see how that's it's playing out, right? So all these things, you should already know what these are. These are variables. These are, you're also initializing variables. Here you're setting your balance to be initial balance. And then in here, you're just changing that balance in the while loop, okay? And at the end, you're just printing whatever the year was. And we just saw that it stops at year 15, okay? So that's what a while loop is in a nutshell.